Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer that just got released. I really liked it. I'm really looking forward to it. I love, you know, the look of Spider-Man in this movie. I prefer the look in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 because it looked a lot like the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man that I grew up reading. But I still do love this design. It's To me, it's the closest design to, like, the Steve Ditko kind of Spider-Man that we saw back in the 1960s. We got a glimpse of Iron Man's armor in this movie, and it looks so cool. It's like it has the paint scheme of the Ultimate Iron Man suit, which was one of the only things I liked out of the Ultimate Universe was Iron Man's suit. The Vulture also looks so cool in this movie. I'm so happy that Michael Keaton is playing the Vulture. I think that's a great choice, and it shows that like he's gonna have like some kind of personal vendetta against Iron Man and like Spider Man because like he ran a business that cleaned up after all the superheroes, and now that Stark is taking that away from him. He's angry over that and he wants revenge, and I think that's actually a pretty cool thing. We also get to see some of Shocker in this movie, and I am so excited to see Shocker. He was always one of my favorite villains after playing the Spider-Man the movie game after, in 2002. That was one of my favorite levels in that game, and I love that we finally get to see him on the big screen. He looks cool. like He straight up just punches Spider-Man, and he just sends him back in like this shockwave. It's so cool. I'm just really excited to see Spider-Man in the MCU. I am just didn't think that we were going to be able to see that. It didn't feel complete without him because he's such a staple of the Marvel Universe. It just, it's, I'm really happy to see him in the MCU. It, it's great. And fun fact, his friend in the movie, uh, I forgot his name, but I believe in the comics he's playing the same character that was also framed for being the Hobgoblin. So maybe we might see the Hobgoblin someday. But that presents a problem that I wanted to talk about is that there was this news that was released that Sony might not let Marvel do a third sequel, which really makes me upset because it seems like they're giving everybody in the MCU trilogies, and Spider-Man, I think, out of all the characters, deserves to have a full trilogy. Hopefully that's not true and we get to see a full Spider-Man thing, because if you think about it, Marvel doesn't have that many characters left since they're only giving people, you know, a trilogy, and, you know, they don't really have a lot of characters to work with other than Spider-Man, Ant-Man, I think Guardians of the Galaxy, Doctor Strange, and Ms. Marvel, or is it is Captain Marvel, not Ms. Marvel, but anyway, they're not going to have a whole crew like they were like in the other phases after Infinity War, so we'll see, and I'd like to expand on that more in another video about where the MCU should go with, you know, after Infinity War, and personally, I think if Spider-Man has the best rogues gallery out of all the superheroes in the Marvel Universe, I would, wouldn't mind him seeing him, like, go beyond, you know, three sequels. I would like to have him, you know, five movies, I think, to, you know, to incorporate properly incorporate all of those villains. Even though we've seen him a million times before, I'm still hoping that we see Norman Osborn and Harry Osborn, the Green Goblin, and all these characters that we've seen before. I would love to see them again in the MCU, done, you know, more closer to their comic book counterparts. But anyway, guys, I'm really excited for this movie. I'm happy that we're getting a different Spider-Man movie that's not going over his origin anymore. It's, you know, it seems like a newer story. I'm just really excited for this, and I hope that we get. I hope we see J. Jonah Jameson. That's something that was really lacking in the Garfield movies, and I hope that we get him back. But apparently, J. Jonah Jameson is too busy giving orders over in Gotham City to the Justice League, so we'll let him be. So anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. I really enjoyed it. I'm really excited for it. This is the most excited I've been for a Spider-Man movie in a while. I haven't been excited for a Spider-Man movie since Spider-Man Three, which wasn't as good as it should have been. But anyway, guys, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.